Let's jump into a new 3.1 feature called uh, the REST API. So it's another way to get data access in slightly different patterns from sources in Hybyte. So in this demo, I already have set up a UNS where I'm pushing OPC data that's modeled uh, through an instance and some SQL data up to a unified namespace. And I won't get into all the details of that because that's something we've always done. But here you can see I have a conveyors, uh, a flow that's flowing the conveyors out to the UNS and one that's flowing the pumps. And without running, what it looks like is this. So I have a topic namespace I've built out of a conveyor, conveyor one, and then the pumps, you know, the individual pumps, uh, serial numbers, and then, then the information. So let's say, for example, that I want to, uh, over the REST API, since SQL is more transactional, I want to come in and get the current state of one of these pumps. So how, how do we do that? So the first thing is to turn on uh, the new REST data server, which is under settings. So I have that on. Uh, with security on and I'm also using the Swagger API which documents how this works but can also allow you to test it so I'm using that and we'll use that in the demo. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is go create a new SQL input that returns data for a single pump right so so this one uses a where clause to return data for a specific serial number and then I have a default serial number down here so if I do a test read on this you'll see returns data for that for that serial number. But now I want to go drive this not through a test input button, but actually through the REST API. So the REST API, this is the documentation for it. We have the ability to read inputs and pass parameters to those inputs, uh, the ability to read instances, and the ability to write to outputs. So in this case, I'm going to use the input read part of the API. And I'm going to identify the connection, and I'm going to identify that single pump we just set up. And then in the body of this request, which is a post request, I'm going to set the, uh, the variable the input parameter uh, to a particular pump that I'm interested in. So let's just grab, just to change it, we'll grab this last one. And then I'm going to hit execute. And what this is going to do is go query that input in Hybyte and return data uh, for just that pump, right? So this is more, you can imagine you could query raw data, uh, transactional data over a period of time, historical data over historians, but this is a way to take stuff uh, that's more transactional in nature and drive that through the REST API. Tons of possibilities here. Uh, the one other thing I'll show real quick is the writes. So here I have this conveyor model, which I'm modeling on Hybyte, and it has the on state that's coming from OBC. So I actually want to drive that on state through the REST API. So how would I, how would I do that? So the first thing I did is I go into my OPC connection, I define an output that targets the branch of the OPC server I want to write to. In this case, it's uh, line one conveyor and you can see here's the on tag. So now I've kind of mapped that into the system. Now I want to drive that through the REST API. So similar to, to inputs, we have outputs. And here, uh, again, define the connection name, define the output name, and then define the JSON format of uh, what you want to write to. And in OPC, that means kind of define the address space. There's the tag name and there's the value. Now if we jump back in and cheat real quick, it's, it's off now. So if I turn this to true, and do a write. Again, this goes through the REST API, out that OPC output, and translate it into OPC. And what you get is uh, it changes to true there. So really cool, tons of possibilities, kind of a different communication pattern than UNS, right? But, but complementary. You know, the one big difference kind of where we're going is right now the UNS, as you build it out, that address space is going to be different than the address space used by the REST API, right? But over time, uh, you know, our goal is to as an example, if you look at the UNS, you can see conveyor, conveyor one. Well, I should be able to hit an endpoint on the REST API that's conveyor, conveyor one, and returns this data. So kind of overlaying the UNS address space versus the REST address space and kind of making those the same uh, to simplify things. And that's where we're headed.